Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me to share with you all and this week we are planning for the week of March 5th to March 11th which was a super fun week because I got to go to New Orleans with the Ravers, so Andrea and Nick, a little smushy, Lil Bennett and it was also exciting because I got to use this kit that I drew that is also from Scribble Prince Co. It was themed about like of New Orleans but also after the princess and the frog which was super cute this was the kit that I wanted to throw my iPad out the window just because I wanted to make sure I got all the details correctly and I love princess and the frog but I'd never been to New Orleans before so I was trying to be as authentic as I possibly could and I think it came out amazing if I do say so myself. I was super excited when I saw like all the stickers laid out together. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put down the bottom washi, the full boxes, the glitter headers, probably not the deco. I think I put the deco up later, but yeah, and I'll be right back. to the sidebar I decided to save the full box with Charlotte and Tiana in it because I thought it was so cute with like the gal pals like me and Andrea I thought it was very fitting to put that there then I went ahead and grabbed two of the habit trackers that come with the kit and as always I take little mini icons the one with the face mask and the one with the heart to mark washing my face and taking my vitamins those habit trackers have actually like really been helping so I'm glad I'm still like putting those in like 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 like, sorry. Next, I took one of the glitter half boxes, the one with the kind of white tan shade, put that underneath the habit trackers, and then grabbed this munchkin off my New Orleans travel sheet from Once More With Love with the little saxophone. Is that a saxophone? I hope so. I tried fitting in these little music notes, but I just, just wasn't turning out how I wanted it, so I left it as it was. Next, I grabbed the header sheet and grabbed one of the hot pink to-dos and put that right underneath the half box. And then after that, I put down a one of the ombre heart checklists, which is super pretty because it has all those little like spreads of glitter in it, which is super pretty. And then after that, I grabbed one of the work labels. And this was actually one of the first times that the work header didn't match the fancy uh, appointment label on the freebie sheet but that's okay it still looked very pretty so I grabbed the orange work header and then put the fancy appointment label with a rose inside underneath and I did have quite a bit of room left over I think it's because I didn't use a piece of washi to decorate the to-do header but that's okay I grabbed a thicker piece of the green washi and then decided to grab some of the deco pieces just to decorate a little bit so I grabbed the Tiana's place like pamphlet paper brochure thing and then the mirror just to just to add some pizzazz down there and then I go ahead and fill everything out. And now I'm going to go ahead and place all of this lovely deco. Now 
now that that's all done, we can move ahead to day by day. And starting with Monday, I went ahead and removed that glitter header. Monday seemed to be a middle glitter header free day for some reason, but especially on this day, because this is the day we left to New Orleans. And the first thing I actually wanted to mark was that I wanted to publish last week's plan with me. So I used a glitter film slate from Mandy Dreams in this kind of yellowy orange color. I didn't want to use hot pink and I I think I had a green but I had a green flight tracker that I wanted to use so I figured this would do and it seems to match pretty well so I put that down next I grabbed a little car icon from the kit to mark and that I had um, my car payment due that day I didn't want to mark it because I was like there are more important things to mark this day but I just needed to remember because I do flip back and forth from my spread to make sure I paid things then after that, I grabbed a wonton in a million sticker of a wonton with chasing after a coffee cup because Nick brought us all breakfast. So we had bagels and Starbucks and it was absolutely delicious before we left for the airport and our flight was around 11. So we did have time in the morning just to collect ourselves, have some breakfast and get everybody ready to go. So I use this a flight tracker from Crest Press. It's a bit brighter of a green, but I think once everything else is filled out, it doesn't stand out as much. And I did end up screwing up the time. I put down the flight actually that we took back on Wednesday, but good old whiteout fits into those little white crevices. So I went ahead and just fixed that when I realize it. So after the flight and we landed in New Orleans, we dropped off our stuff at the hotel and then walked around to go find some lunch. We ended up stumbling upon Red Slipper Cafe, which I think is like New Orleans best brunch. I'm not sure, but it was delicious. I had catfish and grits. I had never had grits before and it was really, really tasty. Although I gotta say that Andrea got like cinnamon French toast sticks and they tasted like churros, so. I was living for it. It was so delicious. After a breakfast, I went ahead and put down this pink glittery half box to mark that Nick and I went to the World War II Museum. It was really, really cool. We got to like follow the story of one of the veterans that had been in World War II. Like as you follow all the exhibits, they give you a little card so you can hear about your person. And then we went on this like submarine excursion, not excursion, I get, well, we weren't in a real submarine, so it's not an excursion, but it was like a submarine simulator, um, simulation of something that had happened during the war. And Nick and I thought that it was like a simulation of us winning a fight, but it ended up turning out that a lot of the men on that ship had died. So, um... It was, it was really, really bad. Also, our machine that we were manning was malfunctioning, so there was no possible way we could have saved our ship. But that's besides the point. So after the World War II Museum, we met up with Andrea and Bennett back at the hotel, and we just ordered some food and watched... Was that the day we ordered food? Yeah. We ordered some food and just watched Jumanji in their room before everyone went to sleep because it was a very, very long day, but so much fun. Totally just realized I wasn't telling you guys where all the stickers were from. That little brunch sticker on Monday is from Coffee Monsters Co. And the little wonton that I put into the half box. Yeah, the half box is from Wonton in a Million. And then that little film slate icon is from the kit. So moving on to Tuesday. Tuesday was a very long day. And that's why I did not include a full box. Just because I was going to remove the glitter headers anyway to add all the things that we did. Since we were leaving early on Wednesday, we were kind of just trying to like pack everything in and make the most of our day. So the first thing I marked with a breakfast emoji was that we had breakfast at a restaurant called Stanley and they had really, really good breakfast potatoes. I don't think they were spicy, but I do think they had like, they were like herby and it was just really, really good. And straight afterwards, we went to Cafe Du Monde because how can you not? That was on the top of my list. I was like, can we please do this? And of course we went. The beignets were a lot smaller than I thought they would be, but they were really, really good and I really liked the coffee. Andre and I actually ended up going to like a Cafe Du Monde souvenir store and we ended up buying uh, sweatshirts with their logo on it because it was raining that day and it was kind of chilly and we packed for warmer weather but still that was super fun and I got like a really big mug that's basically a jacuzzi of coffee and I struggle to finish any amount of coffee I put in that cup 
but anyway. So to mark that we went to Cafe Du Monde, I grabbed a hot pink label and then placed a beignet and coffee sticker from the Once More With Love New Orleans kit. Sorry, I meant sticker sheet. Then I'm removing that glitter header and grabbing a orange glitter half box to mark that Nick and I went to a Mardi Gras world, which is basically like the Mardi Gras museum, but also the facility where they make all the props and things for Mardi Gras floats. Andrea stayed home with Bennett because he was very, very sleepy. So it was just Nick and I. I grabbed this mask sticker from that same New Orleans set from Once More With Love to mark that. And the whole thing was really cool if you haven't been and you're gonna go to New Orleans I kind of recommend it just because I don't know it's very different I don't know any I didn't know anything about like Mardi Gras culture and like about the parades and stuff but apparently there's like a lot of parades and like there's crews and you can make your own parade basically like so every crew gets their own parade and it's, it's, it's pretty cool also when Nick and I were leaving there was a guy working on one of the floats and he actually tossed beads to us with um a stuffed snake as well well so that was really cool I named her Raja and then proceeded to leave her at the hotel but that was just really really fun I really want to come back for uh, Mardi Gras maybe next year but sometime in my life I do want to go to Mardi Gras because it looks like a lot of fun also a really cool thing about going to Mardi Gras World is that once you're finished with the tour, they actually give you a slice of king cake to try, which I had never had before. So I grabbed a little smiling wonton to mark that I tried some king cake. Also to fill up a little bit of space because we did do a lot on Tuesday, but it wasn't going to reach all the way down. So I was like, might as well include it. And king cake is really delicious. I don't know why I thought it would be more fruity, but it tastes more like cinnamon. And I didn't get the baby, but that's okay. They actually sell the little baby. Maybe, but I'm like I was good I don't want to make no king cake for the next Mardi Gras so after that Nick and I went back to the hotel and met up with Andrea and Bennett and we actually went to go grab some lunch at a place called Co Cochon I don't know we were looking for the sandwich place and we ended up in like the ritzy restaurant part of it and it was it was kind of funny, but kind of not funny. The food was still delicious because I had more catfish. There's a lot of catfish in New Orleans. And it was it was really, really good. But I think everybody pretty much just wanted a sandwich. So yeah. Next, I'm removing that glitter header once again. So there's no full box and there's no glitter header on Tuesday. We're just throwing out all, all my like planner rules. Not that those are rules, but it's just, it's weird. I'm throwing out the structure of my day. So anyway, I grabbed a, another half box, this time the green one. I think I used up every single glitter half box within like the first three sort of columns of the week. So yeah, I grabbed that, placed it down right after the little lunch icon, and I grabbed a mermaid fox and cactus sticker because Andrea sent me her spread and she marked going to the aquarium with the sticker as well and I was like wait that's so cute because I didn't have any fish icons or zoo or like aquarium stickers so I was like that's really cute and I'm stealing it so yeah we ended up going to the aquarium which was really fun because oh my god they have penguins and you could feed them but I didn't but I watched someone else feed them and it was it was really pretty cool. They had jellyfish, but the jellyfish were unimpressive. But yeah, I don't know. It was still a lot of fun. And then after that, we all went back to the hotel and I really wanted some coffee because I didn't have enough that day at breakfast, Cafe Du Monde and all of that. So there was a coffee place nearby called PJ's Coffee. So I grabbed a cup and since it was real like starting to be really nice outside there was a patio in our hotel. So I just kind of sat down and called my mom and then just people watched after that I went back up to the room Andrea and Nick got ready for their little date and I got ready to babysit Bennett who was such a little sweet pea the entire time because he ended up falling asleep I mean it kind of took me a while to get him to fall asleep because every time I stopped rocking he would wake up and I'm like oh my god this is bananas but he was so sweet he just slept the whole time and then I watched puppy dog pals with him until his parents came home by the way the coffee cup I used is the one that comes on the kit freebie and then to mark my little babysitting adventure I used an emoji holding a little baby and it was just so cute and the last thing I marked using a mini icon of clinking glasses that also came in the kit was that I got room service for dinner and I ordered two sides of fries because I didn't have fingerling potatoes and it came on like a mountain like a, it came on a plate but it was just a mountain of french fries which was just insane and then after that we all went to bed because we had to wake up super early for our flight back home the next day. 
Oh yeah, what I'm marking now on Monday with this glitter quarter box was that, so the girl, I don't even know, like I had a fangirl moment, uh, Cherry Wallace, who is the YouTuber I talked about in my last video, the, the Harry Potter beautiful YouTuber actually commented on that video and I was just like in the airport scrolling through comments and I read the comment but didn't realize who wrote it and they were like, oh my god, like this makes me want to get organized and I was like, oh my god, that's so nice of you to say and then I looked at who like wrote it and it said it was Cherry Wallace and I was just like <gasps> ah, fangirl moment so it was pretty funny and I just wanted to mark it down because I do have fangirl emo not emojis munchkins and they actually come in the kit freebie now like the newer ones so I was like I need to mark this now moving back up to Wednesday, I put down a bit of washi to break up the flight tracker and the glitter header since they were both kind of a shade of orange, but I really didn't like how it looked and I was like, I'd rather put the two next to each other. Since our flight was so early, I was like, this is, this is the only way I can put this because I didn't do anything else before the flight. I woke up, got on the flight, and we got home. So that flight tracker again is from Crest Press. So after the flight, I wanted to mark that I had my car insurance due that day. Day, so I grabbed a mini icon with the dollar bill on it from the kit to mark that and then I ended up starting to fill things out I don't know why but after the dollar bill icon I grabbed another icon this time the trash can to mark that I wanted to take out the recycling because there was a lot of it and I was like oh cleaner hulking out in my apartment so yeah I took out the recycling and then I wanted to unpack even if my flight comes in at like 1 a.m. I'm usually like opening up my luggage and starting to unpack anything that I can usually I hang up clothes last but I start unpacking like right away even when I go somewhere I start unpacking right away because I just don't want to leave it so to mark unpacking I ended up grabbing a caress press luggage um, stack sticker and it worked out really good because the colors were like light pink, green, and hot pink. After unpacking, I ended up watching a lot of movies during the day. I didn't really pick up my book. I didn't end up drawing. I was just like, I'm having a purely lazy day. So to mark my little a movie marathon, what I ended up watching? I ended up watching Pitch Perfect 3. I streamed that. And then I found from Justin to Kelly. Did anyone else remember that movie? It was so, so bad, but I remember it being oh so good. I was like, this is like relationship goals. Like when I'm older and go on spring break, I'm going to find a man I can dance with. Oh, it was so bad. So to mark the movie marathon, I grabbed that tan beige label and then put the larger uh, film slate icon on top of it to mark that. Then I grabbed a little grocery bag icon from Once More With Love to mark. Then I went to go get some groceries. And after my groceries, I needed to actually plan this week. So I did all of this sticker placement on Wednesday. I grabbed an emoji holding a bunch of washi to mark that I needed to plan this week and then there was a little bit of space and then I did do some reading at night so I grabbed one of the girls from Little Magic Prince that Andrea turned into stickers for me with her little hot pony and her Harry Potter glasses. I ended up chopping up like half of her and placing her right on top like up to the washi to mark that I wanted to read. Moving on to Thursday, I put down a work label and then I ended up putting one on Friday as well just to mark the two days that I wanted to work. I ended up taking two pay times, pay times, paid days off for our little mini-cation. So on Thursday, I went back to work, so I marked that and then I didn't do a lot on Thursday, but I did want to mark that I started watching Degrassi Next Class. I finally got up to the Netflix episodes, so I used a little TV icon to mark that. Then I did some drawing for some miscellaneous pieces that Andrea needed for a kit, so I grabbed a Clever Gal Crafts 
flag with little sprinkly foils on it, the one that is white with the gold sprinkly foil bits. And then I used a draw script that Andrea made me into a sticker to write that I wanted to draw. That was a very long explanation for one placement of stickers. I'm sorry about that. I'm just kind of like dazed and talking and my mind is just somewhere else. But anyway, after that I grabbed a at symbol icon to mark that I needed to send the files to Andrea and a one out of the two is like a really funny piece of art that it's not funny, I mean it's kind of funny, but whatever. When you see it in the kit, you'll know what I mean. Sorry for being so cryptic, but it's, it's really, really good. So yeah, so I sent those files to her and then after all of that was done, I needed to wash the dishes. So I grabbed a scribbler um, in pearl, the blonde haired one, to mark that. So I grabbed the one who was washing the dishes because that would be the one that made sense. Talking in circles here. And then after that, I needed, didn't need to, but I really wanted to relax. So I drew myself up a bath and used a bath scribbler pearl to mark that. The last thing I wanted to mark on Thursday was that I did get a few bits of Happy Mail. Well, one was Happy Mail and I guess one was a package. So I grabbed the mini ombre heart checklist on the functional sheet and a Starbucks card along with my slice tool, which is linked down below if you guys are interested and want to find it. And then I sliced one of the checklists off because I only needed two of those lines. I placed that down and then grabbed a Happy Mail sticker from a whimsical cat. Just so cute. I just got, well I ended up actually, that's what I was hauling. Not hauling, but that's what I was marking that I got. So yeah, I need to haul these stickers. But I end up using a lot throughout the spread. So when that haul comes, there's going to be some little empty spaces. But they are just too cute to not use as soon as you get them. So I put her down to cover up the little hearts because I didn't need the checklist, I just sort of needed the lines. So I wrote that I got a package from ASOS, but I wrote Windsor because I recently got in a few packages that I've returned from there. And then I marked the Whimsical Cat. I did want to leave the Windsor. I was like, well, I'll know what it is, but then you're going to see me fix that up in a bit. So yeah. So put that down and that was the end of Thursday. Then moving on to a Friday, I grabbed and do a happy dance, it's payday sticker from the Planner Junkie and then I wanted to grab a piece of washi just to put something behind it so it wasn't all white space. So I grabbed a beige thin piece of washi, placed the Planner Junkie sticker on top and just laid it down and it looked really, really cute. And then, oh boy, I remember Friday being like a shit show. Pardon my language, but that's exactly like what it was. So I grabbed this little cappuccino sticker from Once More With Love to mark that I was in desperate need of a Starbucks run. I made my coffee really, really bad. Somehow I burnt it. I do the same thing every single day I make coffee, but for some reason this day I burnt it. But anyway, I wrote, Yo necesito cafe because I really, really needed it. And I didn't want to bother trying to fit in the word Starbucks. In Starbucks so I was like I need coffee and then after that I removed the glitter header and I wanted to mark that I spent a good chunk of my Friday after work reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire so I whited out those little few dots and then grabbed a green um, quarter not quarter box a green half box that wasn't sparkly or anything and it just kind of looked sad amongst all like the glitter headers and then I used all those glitter like half boxes before but I will fix all of this in a minute just because I didn't like that solid colored uh half box I keep wanting to call it a quarter box but yeah I put that down and then I used up my last grin and bear it Harry Potter bear sticker that Andrea gave me she gave me four of them so that was my last one I do want to order more but I'm sort of like cutting myself off from buying stickers because I do have other ways of marking reading so I don't need to use that but it's so cute and I just want to buy it but yeah anyway so after reading, I did end up taking another bath that night, and usually I do take one or two baths um, throughout the week, and I only ever mark one, but these were two very long baths, so I felt the need to mark it because I did spend a good chunk of my time in the bathtub. So yeah, I grabbed another Whimsical Cat Girl 
with a little face mask and she has like a little towel and a headband like to hold her hair back which is super cute also one of like the new sticker sheets that I picked up so I used that to mark the bath and then after that I grabbed the munchkin on the laptop from the freebie to mark that I wanted to order some Erin Condren covers because there was a buy one cover get one free which I mean usually I don't like buy new covers because I don't ever change out my covers but I ended up seeing that they had like starry designs and lightning bolts like okay I see you Erin Condren jumping on that Harry Potter train woo woo or the Hogwarts Express bottoms. Anyway, so I actually didn't pick up any of the ones with the lightning bolts on them just because I was like, nah, if they were the metallic ones and I can make them Hufflepuff colors, then maybe, but I was just like, eh, I ended up getting the metallic starry one, and then I picked up a cover for my sister as a graduation present. It's going to be super cute. I don't think she watches my videos, but just in case she watches this one. Actually, I don't even think she would have made it this far. But yeah, I got her a cover that says, like, Miss Krumer on it. She's going to be a teacher very soon. I thought that would be super duper cute. And then the last thing I marked for the end of Friday with a little glitter laptop sticker from Little Miss Papery was that I wanted to reply to YouTube comments. And then after that, you kind of just saw me cut up a green glitter header and place that over top of the word Windsor. And I wrote ASOS instead because it really was bothering me that it was the wrong store. So now, here we go. I really did not like the solid half box there for some reason but I think it was just mostly because there was so much glitter everywhere else that the solid color being so big there was just kind of off so I did end up grabbing a quarter box instead off the glitter sampler sheet and then I put that down over the like where the dotted lines would go where the glitter header would go and then I put down my little bear and then what did I do next I moved my little cappuccino down a bit oh and then I grabbed a dollar sign icon to mark that I needed to deposit money which really really worked out because I didn't know what else I could fit in with all of that like extra space because there was really space for one more kind of event plan uh, to do sort of thing and I was like I just didn't really do anything else and then I remembered I didn't put deposit money onto my sidebar this week because I didn't know if I would and then I did have a few extra dollars left over when I paid all my bills and stuff so I did deposit money into my savings so that was super convenient and I marked that with that hot pink dollar sign icon that came in the kit and I think Friday ended up turning out so much better and it made me very very happy. <laughs> Saturday I woke up feeling not so great. I was really anxious for some reason and I had no reason to be, which I think is just the worst type of anxious to feel. So I did end up reading some Harry Potter in the morning before I went to meet up with Andrea and Amanda for some lunch. We got some hot pot, which Andrea has been like dying to try, and we ordered a laughable amount of food so they gave you a sheet and you just kind of check off all the things you want and then the amount that you want them in and we thought we ordered a decent amount of food for three people we were like if we want we'll just order more like let's just let's just be reasonable people right now and then when they started bringing out the food there was a ton of vegetables meatballs wontons meat on a skewer like meat on a plate it was ridiculous but it was pretty good I liked the spicy broth the best of course because I love spicy food but yeah it was really interesting I'd be interested to try like another form of hot pot but it was pretty good so to mark that before I forget <laughs> to mark that I used this little um one ton in a million sticker with a few dumplings inside a little steamer. I know it's not hot pot, but I thought it was really cute because they have three little wonton, three little dumplings inside of there. So it was me, Andrea, and Amanda, which I thought was cute. Then after lunch, I ended up driving home and going to pick up some more groceries, things I needed for lunch for the following week. So I used a mini grocery cart icon to mark that. And then after getting my groceries, I actually think I did the shopping thing first and then got groceries but it doesn't matter you wouldn't have known if I didn't tell you but yeah I ended up going to the mall to find some bathing suits at Aerie that fit me because I did put on a little bit of weight but that's okay just gotta find stuff that fits me so I didn't end up leaving with any bathing suits but I kind of had an idea of what kind I wanted and then I went to Sephora to pick up some skincare stuff because my face has been breaking out a lot recently and I don't know why like the really little not the big like one that you get but like little tiny mini breakouts everywhere which is just so annoying 
So for the rest of the day, I actually ended up reading like honestly the whole day I got through 200 pages of Goblet of Fire which is pretty amazing because I think I started reading it maybe two weeks ago and I had gotten through maybe one or two chapters and now I'm like on chapter I don't know 20 or something like that so I grabbed a I think this is a little B kind of gold foiled washi and I just placed that from the bot like from the top glitter the middle glitter header to the bottom glitter header put it in a line to mark off that chunk of time and then I used this nude beige it's not beige is it I don't know what color it is this like beige tan half box with a whimsical cat girl reading inside the little box and I wrote read all day and put a little lightning bolt because I was reading Harry Potter. I mean, I'll remember that I was reading Harry Potter, but I just thought it'd be cute to add that little something in there. And yeah, so I read for the rest of the day, got through a really good chunk of it, didn't want to stop, but I was like, I need to go to bed. So moving on finally to Sunday, I love how you can't see anything that I'm doing at the top there, but I did grab another little Miss Papery work label in green to mark that Andrea had asked me to come into work to get a few things done for her while she was there. So since it was the weekend and nobody else would be working, so I did that and then after I got home I put down another one of the Clever Gal Crafts uh, flag stickers and then the draw script because I had wanted to start working on a new kit for Scribble Prince Co. Some new art for Scribble Prince Co. So after that was done, I ended up finishing the rest of this week and then planning next week. So I grabbed the Plan Next Week sticker that came in the freebie. Then towards the end of the night, I didn't have much planned, but I did use this emoji kind of mixing things up in a mixing bowl to mark that I wanted to do some lunch prep. For the week and then the only other thing I really had planned that day was that I was gonna live stream with Ryan he has a, a streaming twitch channel thing which is be beyond me he plays video games on it and um, we watch hot ones where they like there's this guy and he interviews celebrities while they eat really hot chicken wings like progressively hot chicken wings and because I do sort of collect and have a ton of hot sauces from ranging spices um we thought it would be fun if we did a little sort of like our own hot ones thing on his streaming channel so we've been planning that for a while so it's super exciting that we're finally doing that so to mark that I put that at the bottom of the day because it's probably going to happen at night it's right now it's like midday so I used an orange label and then an emoji holding a phone with like little messages I didn't have uh, sticker. I mean, I have laptop stickers and things like that, but I was like, how do I mark a live stream? So I figured the, the phone could be the laptop and then the chat could be like people commenting on his live stream. I thought it would work. And then I did have that bit of space in the middle. So I grabbed one of the medium sized reading emojis to mark that I probably would end up reading all night before and after the live stream. So yeah, that is my entire week. And here we have the week in full and I gotta tell you guys I really love how it turned out all the full boxes and everything is just super duper pretty for a really fun week I'm really thankful that I got to be Nanny J and tag along for New Orleans trip because it was really cool and now I got a little taste and I want more I want to come back for Mardi Gras which I think is actually like this week next year which is super fun. I probably won't go next year, but but one year, like I said before, one year, I plan to go. It's now officially on my bucket list. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this plan with me. And to everyone who was commenting saying how much they really liked this art, I appreciate it. It makes me feel good and it like gets me going into the next kit when I'm like, yeah, I can draw. But yeah, that was a tangent, sorry. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye.